Hey everybody, welcome to another Paints the Edge of. We're teaching you to make a cool painting in about an hour and I get a little drunk to it. Uh, today what we're painting is, uh, we're painting this right here. It's called Brush Country. I don't know why, but I like that name. This is a cool painting of the perspective looking up into those, you know, trees with the sky behind it. So it's kind of a cool painting. You might see this, uh, style of photograph or painting somewhat, somewhat popular, I guess. Um, but that's what we're painting today. So, I'm going to tell you exactly what you need for that. Uh, before I get to that, please like, share, follow, subscribe, smash buttons, like, smash buttons, and smash like follows, and follow likes, and follow likes, and like follows, and like smashes. So, uh, I've got links up here. Just search Paint the Edge off, and I'm on most of the stuff. Uh, I'm also going to give away a free painting. All you got to do is correctly answer my subjective trivia question first in the comments, and I will send you a free painting of your choice. Um, and also I have shot glasses for sale. If you'd like to buy a shot glass, it says paint the edge off on it. You can't really see it, but it says it's cool little, uh, etched, uh, my little logo etched in there. So that's kind of cool. Okay. So, uh, what we'll need for this. You also, you always need a canvas. I've got a 16 by 20 canvas. Okay. I've always got some paper towels. All right. I've got my water cup that I use to mix in with my paint. This is acrylic paint. So water is kind of your blending medium for that. Uh, I've also got paper plates that I use for my palette. You can use whatever you want, but paper plates are kind of a nice, easy option. I've got a blow dryer. It helps me dry my uh, paint layers fast and get through them quickly. Oh, I have, uh, also have um, chalk. I don't, have, I don't really need a pencil for this one today. Uh, you can have a pencil if you'd like, but you really just need some chalk. That's just regular sidewalk chalk, basically. Uh, just regular old chalk, okay? Uh, then I've got four brushes. I've always got my four brushes, my big flat brush, my medium flat brush my little medium round brush, and my little tiny baby round brush, okay? Those are my four brushes. Put them bristle down your water cup when you're not using them. I've also got whiskey, um, so, uh, oh, colors. Ooh, I almost forgot colors. Black and white. All right, I've got a phthalo blue. I've got a violet. Okay, I've got a light yellow. I also have a raw sienna, which is similar to a yellow ochre if you have that in your paint set. And I have a burnt umber, which is just a brown color. If you don't have burnt umber, raw umber works. Uh, any of those brown colors will work, okay? So, cheers. Okay, huh. All right. Shot counter, engage. Okay. What we want to do here first is um, really map out your canvas, okay? Really think about this, okay? Because, um, you know, it may look like you just mix blue and white together and paint the whole background blue, but you know, a lot more to it than that. Really a lot of thought that goes into this. Um, okay, take your big paintbrush out of your water cup, tap it off. All right, I got some blue and some white on my plate. Let's go ahead and start by stirring our water in with our white paint. Get that water all stirred in, mixed in. And let's take a little bit of blue. Mix in with this whole, oh, that's, I want it to be kind of a lighter blue. So I guess I just need a little tiny bit of blue and a whole bunch of white. Uh, <laughs> oh, sorry, excuse me. Make a uh, light blue. Imagine your sky, a sky blue. All right, so I'm just gonna mix enough white in there to kind of lighten this up to get a color I like. You can make your sky as light as you like. Mm -mm. All right, once I get a nice color, let's just start. Uh, let's just start blocking this in. Now, what you want to do is you want to go like this. You want to go like this. Right. Okay. So this is kind of like a pound sign. Okay. And then what you can do is just a brush stroke called um, X's. And then so this is how you win. This is how you win tic tac toe. You go X here in the corner. And the other person goes, Duh, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go middle. <laughs> That's what everyone does, right? Then what you do is you go X down here, right? Now, if they go O in any corner. You're gonna win. Now if they go O oh, here, that's the only way you lose. Then you still go X there, and they go O oh, O. Oh. Then you 
go X. And they're like, oh, 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 cat. So yeah, that's how you play tic-tac-toe, so. Oh, uh, if anybody out there is wondering how to play tic-tac-toe. There you go. Alright. So I'm just going to cover this thing up with some light blue. Oh my Hauser, but I hope everybody's doing okay this week. Doing well. I'm listen to more music this week. We get a bunch of stuff. Did we ever hear this guy called Arden Jones? I like him. He makes some good music. I like it a lot. Uh, then I was listening to like, some other stuff. Uh, remember that song Oodle Lolly from uh, Robin Hood, the cartoon Robin Hood? And that was done by Roger Moore. He did uh, some other songs. Songs you've probably heard before. There's one that's like King of the Road. Hey, hang on. That song. So, um, yeah, this is pretty, um, pretty self-explanatory, honestly. Man, remember that Roll Robin Hood cartoon movie? Like, oh no, we don't have enough cartoon money and cartoon food for my cartoon family. Not my cartoon children. I have a cartoon baby on the way. Hey, I've got a cartoon wife and kids at home. Every so often, probably take a little bit of water, mix it back in with your paint. I'm starting to feel it dry out a little on you, which will happen sometimes. I just want to really make sure I cover the whole canvas, right? If you see any of those little white spots, you know, those little spots sticking through. Kind of gives you that checker, that texture. Fill that in. Okay. We're just going to make our canvas a nice happy blue here. We're going to make it a nice happy blue. Just a nice happy blue. Don't make it a pissed off blue. Okay. Make it a happy blue. But I like pissed off blue. Yeah, sorry. Honey, you know, Bob Ross always was like happy little trees. But what about if I want to make pissed off little trees? Huh? 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 Why can't I have the kind of expressive trees that I want? Huh? Maybe I want depressed trees. Okay, um, let's paint our side edges. Okay. So now we've completed our first step, everybody. Uh, now you want to paint your side edges and your top edge. Paint that bottom edge, all right? Uh, it's tempting, I know you want to. You know, take it, flip it over, paint that bottom. But don't do it, okay? Wait till the end. Paint the bottom, you gotta sit there and let it dry before you paint it. It's gonna stick to your easel. Gonna a big old mess. So, wait to do the bottom. We got our first step done. Okay, I'm gonna take a shot here in honor of the first step being done. And blow dry, I'll do the trivia question. And keep going. Hey, 
Only happy little trees. Well, what if I want sad trees? Only happy little trees. Bob Ross, you're scaring me. What if my trees aren't happy? Okay, let's take a shot. Cheers, everybody. Alright, I had a shot to the shot counter. Ugh, I'll blow dry. Get the trivia question up. And we'll keep going here, okay? Alright, we're at two shots. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, okay. Today's trivia question is The Dallas Cowboys were not originally the Cowboys. What was Dallas's original mascot, okay? Was it A, the Dallas Indians? B, the Chili Beans? C, the Cabana Boys? D, Weed in Boys? E, the Dallas Pickle Tits? F, Ford F-150s? G, the Socket Wrenches? Or H, none of the above? All right, so give it a guess. We'll see who uh, gets it right at the end, okay? But there's your trivia question. some happy little trees. Mr. Ross, what if my trees aren't happy? Get out of my class. Then you're gonna have to get out of my class. But, but, Mr. Bob Ross, what if my trees aren't happy? Then you can get the fuck out of my class. Did Bob Ross ever paint angry little trees? Just for some diversity. Again, today's trivia question is, uh, what was the Dallas Cowboys' original mascot? They weren't always the Cowboys, okay? All right, was it A, the Dallas Indians, okay? Was it uh, B, the Chili Beans? Was it C, the Dallas Cabana Boys? Was it D, Weed and Boys? Which is a real thing the Dallas Cowboys fans say all the time, which is... Extremely annoying. Is that the answer? Uh, is it E, the Dallas Pickle Tits? Is it F, the Dallas F Ford F 150s? Is it uh, G, the Socket Wrenches? Is it H, none of the above? I know what you're thinking. Uh, it's probably the Dallas Pickle Tits, but. I'm gonna go with A, the Dallas Indians. Okay, this is almost dry. Mr. Bob Ross, my trees aren't very happy. What if my trees are sad? And he's like, he turns into Joker all of a sudden, and he's like, let's put a smile on that tree. Just like, Mr. Bob Ross, you're scaring me. Oh, I don't know why I imagine Bob, sometimes I like to imagine Bob Ross as a crazy person, just because it's funny to me, I don't know why. Okay, that's pretty dry. Okay, um, let's take the trivia question down. Okay, now we're going to use our chalk. We're going to draw on where our trees are. Uh, what we really want to do is, before we draw the trees in, um, well, we'll do the trees too, but we're mainly going to draw kind of, we're, we're really going to start with the, uh, the leaves and all that. Let's see if this shows up. Is that showing up? No. All right, let's try this. Is that going to show up better? That shows up a little better. It shows up really clear to me, but on the camera doesn't show up quite so well, but it's there. Okay, what I want to do here first is find the, um, find the middle of my canvas. Okay, let's just gonna center in my canvas, right? Uh, if I find about here, this is about the middle, right? 
um, the center of my uh, the the main tree that's going up and there's that main circle and it's not right in the middle of your canvas up and down it's a little higher up okay so I'm gonna go up let's see it's probably probably about a third of the way down is about where the center of it is I'm gonna put that right there okay I'm gonna make a little cross right here you can barely see it on the camera but I'm just gonna do a nice big big circle that's gonna be where kind of my main big uh, you know tree is okay the leaves in that tree okay now um, what I want to do then is uh, I can go through and I can kind of draw I want to I basically want to draw like a, a shape around this kind of give some space around this tree between that and the next ones now if you're really cool um, you can come up with like a shape that you want to make this out of you know maybe you want to make like a heart and then your um, leaves line up with that shape of that heart maybe I want to do okay we have the Dallas Cowboys they're a star maybe you want to do um, let's see what's a good shape to do um, how about a maybe a bunny rabbit how about a bunny rabbit Cotton tail. There we go. It's hard to see that, but I drew a bunny rabbit. Okay, now, um, really no reason I did that, but, you know, I want to make my, my tree leaves kind of mix up with that. Okay, let's draw our trees. So what I want to do now is I want to kind of draw a line that's kind of can be wavy a little bit, but just kind of draw a line straight down, okay? Uh, I'm not going to add the width to that or anything yet. I'm just going to leave it a line right there, okay? Now after that, what I want to do is I want to start making lines that kind of start going in from the outside and at the bottom, they're kind of angling in. Now they're not going to go up, okay, they're going to stop before I get up into this, right? So let's see, here's a big, here's a part of my rabbit tail, I want to make this, so I'm going to go, well, let's start there, right? Okay, and I'll go through and add some, right, just some little ideas of kind of where some of these trees are. Now I should leave a little bit of space right here because I know it's going to get, this tree is going to get, this main tree is going to get real wide. Let's leave some space there. But after that, let's just start kind of having these come in. Probably good to start in the middle there and kind of have those trees come straight over and then kind of angle your lines in the way you need to. Let's just start with just lines, okay? We'll go back and add the tree limbs and all that later. Maybe here I'll do that. Okay, yeah, so right now you can hardly see that. I know I should probably have darker, but you can kind of see I've got my lines. Go around, they're all angling in towards the middle. Um, I made a rabbit shape just for fun, okay? Okay, let's take a shot. We got that drawn in, and then we'll start painting, all right? Ugh, I'm kind of trying to remember how I painted this. So anyway, um, any guesses for the trivia question? If I want a free painting, there's a trivia question. Okay. Shot three. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with just our green color, and we're gonna start putting in a, a lot of these um, trees, okay? A lot of these leaves. All right. Uh. <laughs> okay, let's take some yellow. I'm just gonna add on this plate. I've already got some blue on. Got a lot of yellow. And I'm gonna go ahead and start using my round brush. Okay, and let's take this. Let's start mixing our bunch of yellow in here with my blue. I wanna make a, you know, kind of a light green. So let's add a lot of yellow, a little bit of white to it, but lots of yellow. I already had some white mixing with this light blue, so the yellow works pretty well. Um, and then I'm just going to go through and just basically start, you know, blobbing in some trees, okay? Blobbing in some leaves. Specifically leaves. Okay. Mix up a lot of this, because you're going to use a lot. Mix up a whole buttload here. 
I'm gonna mix up a fork load here. One metric fork load. Okay, let's take our green and let's start filling this in. Now this main one here, let him pretty solid, right? Pretty solid. Uh, now once I get out here to the outside edges, I'm not gonna go all the way to the edge. Just kind of like let it really start fading off, get a little rougher there, a little bit more um, textured, you know, things like that. All right. Okay, and that's really all we're gonna do. Okay, now, <clears throat> now remember, I've kind of drawn in. I made a shape in our shape of rabbit because I'm dumb, but um, we'll start just kind of filling in a little, some little patches right at the tops of my little lines. That I did. These are kind of going to be trees, right? These are the tops of the trees. So it's uh, that's where I'm going to kind of start with these little clumps of green, and I'm going to keep going. Okay, I'm just going to work my way through it. Okay, I'm just going to work through it you know like you work through um, an argument with your significant other, right I'm gonna work through it. or when you want overtime at work and you skip lunch so you're gonna work right through it right okay now once I get now once I get kind of right that edge right there or you know, a nice solid bit at the top. Once I kind of go start going uh, up, up here, it's going to be above. But once I start going way, you know, down these trees, basically, I'm going to make them a little more sparse and more spread out. Okay. And they're always kind of going in this circular motion. It's kind of where all my brush strokes are going. Right? Okay. I'm just going to start filling it in. Scoot over so I can see what I'm painting. Oh. Music, am I right? Yeah, um, who was that guy? The guy that made Oodle Lolly Roger Moore? The other song that was like, um, uh, Chug a Lug song? I love that song. Good look, good look. Okay, so, you know, kind of get the idea. We're just kind of working our way around here. Um, I don't know. What else? Oh, today is... What day say? The 19th. Today is October 19th. Well, here's the 8,000 things it is today. As you know, if you watch, I always tell you what it's national, what day. Uh, let's see. Today is... Let me just pull it up. Today is National Kentucky Day. National LGBTQ Center Awareness Day, National Seafood Bisque Day, National Hagfish Day, uh, National Support Your Local Chamber of Commerce Day. That one seems a little forceful to me. Like, hey, it's National S Support Your Local Chamber of Commerce. Um, I don't know why I read, I read it aggressively. But that's just cool. Um, let's see. There's also National. Uh, Medical Assistant Recognition Day, all right, and it's also Bra Day, okay? Okay, so, you know, there's some really important ones in there, like LGBTQ and Medical Assistant Recognition Day, uh, you know, and then there's Hagfish Day, and there's <clears throat> Bra Day, and Support Your Local Chamber of Commerce by the way, this is a hagfish. This is what you're celebrating today. And this, I, I'm telling you right now, if you look up hagfish, this is the chill photo, okay? All the other photos are not so chill. Uh, not so chill. They are pretty terrifying, okay? I don't know why it's National Hagfish Day. I don't know why it has its own day, honestly. It's pretty effing dumb to me, but whatever. Um, so, that's what it is today, okay? Okay? Um, yeah, I don't know. It's also National Kentucky Day, did I say that? And I looked up Kentucky for pictures, and this was one of the first ones that came up. So, National Kentucky Day, there you go. And National Hagfish Day. That's what we're celebrating today, okay? 
So congrat congratulations, Hagfish. You uh successfully uh, you know, stealing the limelight from important things like most new awareness and things like that. I always have like important ones, then there's one that's like, it's national underwear day, and it's like, what? Wow. Hey, it's national day. I bought this day today day. National Roger Williamson day. Who's that? He's a guy who paid to have a national I don't, know what about. I don't know who decides these days, man. <clears throat> I'll tell you what though. I'll tell you what. Look at this cool little rabbit. I'm gonna make this rabbit tail a little bit smaller. I'm gonna come in there a little bit. Okay. Um, yeah, okay, now down now down here there's a little bit more um, space in between some of these you can see. Uh, a what? A what? Yeah, today's national all kinds of days. But among them is National Hagfish Day and National. I tell you what. You know, I tell you what. You know, you're right. I tell you what. Okay, so once we get these kind of in here, we kind of got our basic leaves in there. Um, uh, Tick Sob says take another shot. Okay, I'll do the A. Hey, don't gotta tell me twice. Yes, sir. Aye, aye, sir. Uh, <laughs> cheers. Okay. Oh, what? Uh, what? Um. Today's also National Take a Shot and on live stream day. Today's also National. Hey, it's National. Uh, it's National Broad. Hey, it's National fucking whatever. National. Hey, I'm a it's national me day. Hey, it's national Christopher Pajumba's day. Not Chris, just another person. Just a random person. Christopher Pajumba's. Okay, so now, like I said, as I go down here, I'll like to space these out a little bit more. I'm running out of paint, get a big old thick fine paint. Oh, boy. Okay, there we go. We're almost done with the green part here. Okay, so now once we've got the green in, we'll go back and we'll start adding some colors to our green make a little bit more um, a little bit more uh, uh, better more better uh, big berserker says um, take another shot so hi hi captain hey you guys want to win a free painting today's trivia question is uh, what was the Dallas Cowboys original mascot Okay, was it the, the Dallas Indians? Was it the Dallas Cabana Boys? Uh, the Dallas Pickle Tits? Dallas Ford F-150s? All right, we got a guess for E, Pickle Tits. And another guess for H, none of the above. Okay, uh, those are off the table. Well, how's it going out there? Uh, it's National Hagfish Day, everybody. This is the Hagfish. 
It's also National Kentucky Day. If you search Kentucky, this is one of the first pictures comes up. So there's that. It's also like important things National Days today, but you know, why worry about that when there's you know National Sea? It's also National Seafood Bisque Day. Fucking dumb. Okay, let's get some yellow on our brush. It's okay if there's green in there. I'm gonna need more yellow. Okay, let's take some yellow. Okay, I want to add some yellows in. Okay, now this is going to be mainly just kind of around the outside edge of my middle bits. My bits. So, yeah. What did I do recently? What did I do? Nothing, really. Got out my old PlayStation 2 the other day and started playing my old Final Fantasy 13. Um, Big Berserker, I will tell you the answer to the trivia question at the end of the video, okay? Gotta make sure all three of the people that watch my stream get a chance to guess. I'm gonna give all four of the people that watch my stream intermittently at one point or another. Okay, I want to be fair to all two of the people that watch me. Uh, no, but I'm gonna wait till the, I always tell at the end, okay? Now, um, if you want me to say you're correct, sure, you're correct, okay? Um, let's see, Big Berserker, did you ever, uh, did you ever, um, uh, did you ever, uh, did you ever uh, meet a hack fish in your life? Berserker, anybody got cat out there? I took my cat, got my cat's eye removed. And, uh, oh my god, when I went to pick him up, he looked a rough. I'm kind of putting the yellows towards the center of the, of the circle thing. I don't know why, really. I guess it's like, that's kind of the opening at the top. I feel like that's going to be where light's hitting it. Ooh, you have a dog? I have a dog also. I have a dog and a cat. Three th take three shots for the boys. Um, okay, now, okay, I will, but uh, I'm going to need a second, okay? Let's five shots deep. I take three more right now. I'll be at eight shots in under four minutes in. Just seems pretty on brand for me. Okay, let me just get some of these yellows in. I don't do that, okay? Fine, I'll just do it. Uh, I took my cat to get his eye removed. And you know what? You're right. For the boys. You know what? When you're right, you're right. I took my cat to get uh, his eye taken out because he had this big, crazy, bulbous eye. And, uh, cause we found him, we had him for like a year now, and he had this fucked up eye, but it was like normal size. And then over the course of the year, it's just gotten bigger and bigger to the point where it's like, starting to bulge out pretty good, so I finally went and got it removed. So I go and I drop him off at like 7.38, I don't know what I was thinking, I think I thought like, I was like, okay, I'm gonna go in at 7.38, drop him off, maybe I stay there for like an hour, or I come back for an hour, and I pick him up and he's all good. No, you drop him off, and like, yeah, we'll come, he might be done, you might be able to get him today, later. We could keep him overnight, and I'm like, oh, shit, okay, so this is like a whole day thing, you know. Well, they call us back, and like, you can come pick him up at like, two, at any time after 2.30. So I come back and <laughs> come back to pick him up, and he looked rough, like, cheers. I got a picture of him here, I'll show you in a second. I don't know why I thought, I honestly, I mean, I didn't think he'd look like just perfect, but I thought like, okay, he'll have surgery, he'll get him put together, and I think I just thought like, he would just look like, um, you know, I thought I'd just pick him up and he'd have his little eye like, 
Sunshine, it just looked like he's got a closed eye, you know? Just got a little wink and eye there. No. <laughs> uh, so I pick him up and he's, first of all, he's fucking doped out of his mind. His, his one working eye is like so dilated. I mean, I'm not taking two more shots right now, but I will in a minute. Um, his one eye is like, I mean, he looks like he's on acid. It's all like dilated and shit. And, uh, I don't know, just And then his, like, his nose was, like, bleeding a little bit, because, like, where they cut the eye, it, like, connected to the nose, nasal passage, he was, like, bleeding, was, like, pus and stuff. And he's just, like, <laughs> you can tell he's looking around, like, what the fuck is happening? Um, Big Berserker, yes, you can't have this pain. Um... Anyway, so we got him up. And he also has, like, he has a gauze, like, over his eye where they did surgery. I don't know why I thought it would just be, like, done and ready to go, but... Anyway, so we brought him home, and, uh, he's pretty fucking loopy, right? He's obviously he's out of there. So, at one point, like, we had a cone, they put this cone on him, and he had on, and then it was all night, he's just trying to get it off. Well, eventually he gets it off, right? And I'm like, God damn it, Philip. And, uh... But he's not messing with his eye at all. He's just, he's just like, so every time I'd, I seriously would walk in there, it was at night and I'd keep five hours or so. Like every time I walked in there, he's sitting in the exact same spot, just staring at the wall, like just fucked up, you know? And at one point he fell asleep sitting up, which I've never seen him do. And he just fell asleep and he's just like, his eyes like rolled back in his head. <laughs> I took a picture. But by the time I took it, he was kind of waking up and looking at me. So th <laughs> there he is kind of waking up and being like realizing that I'm in front of him. But he's like totally passed out sitting up. Oh, uh, poor guy. Just got fucked up from that surgery. This is crazy. Imagining, you know, where tufts of these like foliage are. My poor little cat, though. My poor little kitty cat. Oh, he's pretty chill now, though. He's got the little gauze off, and his eyes just got uh, just got a big old. Scar. He looks like Scar, you know, from uh, Lion King. And he's always like trying to kill his brother, which is weird, and then trying to. And his nephew is strange, but he's always like, Meow, where's my brother? I'm gonna murder him. Weird. He, uh, but he's pretty chill though, but now his eyes just got this big scar across one eye. Do you want me to paint Philip? Maybe one day I should, I should make a painting of Philip. I gotta paint it first, I gotta make a practice paint. Look, you want me to just jump into it? You don't want that. What do you do? Maybe we'll just go get a new canvas and start making up some bullshit painting. You want me to paint Philip? You can stay on after I finish this one and I'll do another one. That's what you want, okay? When you say we, do you mean you? Because so far, no one else has said that. Hey, uh, Big Berserker, um, I have a question for you, um, how dare you? Who, who do, who do you think, who do you think you are? Who, who, who do you think you are? How, how dare, how dare you? How, how dare you? Um, hey, Big Berserker, uh, What, what are you talking about? Um, who, who the F asked, F, who, who the F asked you? <laughs> Burzerlers. <laughs> uh, 
Yeah, F him. F you. Dude, F you. Right to your F and F face. Right to your F and computer screen. Holy shit, we've almost got the yellow done. Look at that. And you see, just like that. That's how you make happy little flower edge. You don't make, you don't make angry flower edge. Mr. Bob Ross, what if I don't, what if my foliage isn't happy? Well, then I'll have to kill you. Well, then you can get the fuck out of my painting class. Mr. Ross, you're scaring me. Okay, you know, I think it's about time for another shot, right, Big Berserker? Am I right? Almost done with the yellow. So this is probably like the, you know, longest, most monotonous part of this probably is putting the greens and these yellows in and then let's put the purples in after that. Can I add some little shadows? Let's go! Woo! Um, oh, my door shut or maybe I could get my cat in here, you know? What I really want to do is smoke a cigarette, but you know, can't do that. Can't do that, you know? Oh, can't do that. Smoke cigarettes, kid. They're good for you. Um, don't smoke cigarettes, kid. Uh, bring Philip in and smoke and drink with him. You know, that's a good idea. Philip's too chill. He'd be like, hmm, I'm okay on the smoking. I might take a drink, though. I'll take an IPA. He'd probably be an IPA drinker. You know, he's kind of dumb, so. <laughs> All right. What shot are we on? Oh, hey, Mom. My mom says I'll take a shot with you, but I'm, uh, it's white chocolate strawberry cream moonshine. Ooh, nice. Mom, you got me beat there. You got moonshine and stuff? That's pretty nice. Okay, now, uh, okay, Mom, do you want to guess the, um, trivia question? Uh, Mom, uh, the trivia question is the Dallas Cowboys were not originally cowboys. What was the original mascot? Was it the Dallas Indians? Uh, the B, the Chili Beans? C, the Cabana Boys? D, Weed and Boys? That's a real thing that Cowboys fans say all the time. Is it E, the Dallas Pickle Tits? Which has already been guessed. In case you can't guess that one. F, the Dallas Ford F-150s? G, the Dallas, Dallas Socket Wrenches? Or H, none of the above, which has also been guessed. None of the above has been guessed, so. That's your trivia question. Crazy Ray. What does that mean? Um, Crazy Ray. I like how Big Berserker speaks in only all caps. Berserker, um, you know, that's actually a myth, Big Berserker. Crazy Ray. And you can never existed <laughs> okay I think I had a little bit of white in this well, let me just see what happens if I put this oh, it's very dark. Uh, let's let it ride okay that's gonna be our darkest darks right so let's put this in the center of that middle middle thing <laughs> um, obviously camera's real I'll say ch mom says chili beans Okay, so let's put some of these purples and these are going to be our shadow colors. Let's put these in around here. Now, my green's drying a little bit, so uh, it's not going to mix very well. So I'm going to kind of paint a little more deliberate shapes here. But mainly I'm kind of imagining, okay, if this is a little patch of leaves here. I got yellow on the top. Let's put a little purples on the bottom, okay? Make it all the way across the bottom. You can put it in patches. There you go. That's what I'm going to do. Over and over and over. And that's how you paint, people. You just do things over and over and over and over. And then you do them over. 
Okay, make some happy little uh, leaves here. If you don't make them happy, Bob Ross will come for you. Alright, here we go. Okay, starting to look a little bit more, uh, I don't know, something. Hey, thanks, Big Berserker. Uh, it's all... My music is uh, people I know, local people I know, so that I can't get sued by the Beatles or anything. It'd be funny if the Beatles tried to sue me about some of uh, You know, we're going to sue you for this tiny band that you're friends with because we're that big of assholes. What is that about, you know? Like, ooh, like how rich do you need to be? Like, at that point, like, why can't you just, like, live with the fact that, like, you're the music of a like five generations of people like just die happy good lord probably not even them it's probably like their managers or people who are making money off of them that's what it is I'll bet you. I'll bet you. okay this is a lot darker than I was imagining it would be so I'm gonna add some white probably go back over a lot of this let's just go ahead and add white now cause this is uh Um, Berserker says, sing some karaoke. Um. Um. Hey, Jude! Like that? Don't make it bad! Take a sad song! Make it better! Oh, you know, I like that on top of the dark. Okay, so you know what? What am I doing originally? This is okay. You know what? I forgot how I paint this. This is right. Okay. Keep going with the dark paint. Try to test myself real quick. And you know what? Let's take one more shot. Cause I'm sure Berserker wants it. You know. Berserker, what's been going on with you, huh? Why don't you? Uh, what's going on, huh? Any shows you've been watching? Anything? Uh, talk about? Just trying to think what's happening to me lately. Today I was on Snapchat and I was on Snapchat. You never know. You know what cameo stories are? I don't know. Social media is so annoying to me. It's all just dumb shit, and it just keeps just to keep you on there, and uh, it works, but it's annoying. It's like. Anyway, um, Snapchat will, um, did I add that shot? I didn't. Okay. Snapchat will, like, do these things that are called cameo stories, right? And it's some terrible, stupid animation. And it puts, and it just puts someone in there that you talk to on, um, you know, Snapchat. It's like this random person messages, like, oh, whoa, well, I liked your thing. And the next thing you know, next week, there's a cameo story of some dumb, terrible thing. It's so stupid. But it adds that person that you talked to, right? So a lot of times it'd be like me and my girlfriend. It'd be a lot of them like that because that's like the only person I messaged on, you know, Snapchat that week or something. Or it'd be like some random person that asked me like one random thing on there. The next thing you know, I have a cameo story with them. And then, uh... But I haven't really been on there in a while, and I haven't been talking to anybody on there. <laughs> and today I pulled it out, but I was just going through people's stories, like watching people's videos. And, uh, a cameo story comes up, and I'm like, wait, who's the other person? I was like, Is that it's me. It was me and me. <laughs> it was me and me in the cameo story. I just was like, wow, this is, this is the epitome of, like, lonely, like, not having any friends. It's like... Even the cameo story is like, uh, who do we put in his other side of this cameo story? I uh, guess him, because there's no one else he's talking to. Uh, let's see. Um, Big Berserker asks, who wins, a bear or a silverback gorilla? You know, that's a good question, honestly. Um, ultimately, I don't know. Bears are actually, I feel like bears are actually 
you know, stronger or bigger. Like, they, bears are surprisingly fast and strong and just, like, apex kind of killers. But you got to believe that a gorilla at some point would figure out he can just, like, grab his nuts or something and, like, rip them off. Because, you know, that's how monkeys fight. Okay, you watch chimpanzees. The most terrifying thing you'll ever see is just... It's like how they fight. The first thing you do is, like, grab the other one's balls and rip them off. Where they grab their fingers and like break their fingers real quick. It's crazy. It's like I'd have to go with silver. I just I think a bear would lunge in and get right on him pretty fast. And you know attack the fuck out of him, but I think a gorilla a silverback would probably at some point gouge his eyes out or something and like with his fingers and just I think those opposable thumbs are gonna come in real handy at some point to really manipulate that that bear. I wanna say bear honestly, but I just I just don't think that's right. You know, maybe it's because I'm a human. Maybe I'm biased. I'm biased. Cool. Hey, I'm biased. What do you mean, I'm biased? Hey, biased. Nice to meet you. I'm biased. Um, but I am. Hey, biased. Nice to meet you. I'm uh fair and balanced. Fair and balanced, just like Fox News, right? Just the most fair and balanced news you can get. It's that thing where you just tell people the exact opposite of what you are to kind of like hedge your bets right there and be like, okay, well, we're all, this is what we're worth. Let's just lie right now and say this, and maybe people will be, we'll just cut off some of the dumb people who don't. They're just like, oh, wait, but they say fair and balanced, so must be. Okay, what's happening? True, gorillas, so yeah. Tuk says, there's no way you're drunk. I don't feel drunk, honestly. I'm not drunk. Take another shot. Bear a day. Make it up to ten shots. Let's go. I'm gonna get to ten shots. Don't worry. Take a swig out of their out of their bottle. Out of that their bottle. Let's go out the bottle. Okay. Well, this is what's gonna. Is this what you want? This is what you want. Let me get the little top off though. Uh, cheers, everybody. I don't think I drank as much as I did if I had just taken a shot. I feel like that was as much. Let's go! Let's go! Um, yes. I'm trying to get excited today. I don't know what it is. I'm just... I got low... I'm a little low T today, you know? I'm just low T. I don't know. Oh, you know, I don't know. Do you think a bear or a tiger would win? I think a bear might win that, you know? I think a tiger's fast and all that, but I think the bear's just gonna overpower it. Just bite the shit out of it. I don't know. I think he's just gonna gash it open. Just be like, yeah, I'm bigger. Bears are so much bigger than I think people really are. I don't know. I feel like they're gotta be. Maybe I just listen to too much Joe Rogan, you know? Maybe Joe Rogan's really, you know, skewed my views. Because I worship that. No, I'm just kidding. Sure don't. <laughs> okay, now up here I'm putting this kind of on the tops. Okay, this is kind of the easy underneath side there. Joe Rogan would not finish this bottle. He would, like, drink a kombucha, you know, alcoholic beverage slowly. He'd be like, oh, no, that's toxic for my body. <laughs> Rogan does not party, I don't think. Oh, that's not smart. Oh, okay, you say tiger. You think a moose could take a could take a tiger? A moose could take a tiger? Moose are gigantic. Hey, where are you guys located at? You guys you guys up in Canada at all? Anybody in Canada here? Any Canadians? Okay, we finally F and did it. Christ, we got all the purples in. Okay, let's take our light purple now. Crest, almighty. Let's take a shot for that, too. Let's mix up some light purple. Light purple. 
Hey, let's mix up a lot purple, okay? Hey, look at me, I'm a lot purple. Way over the pond, chief. Over the pond? What does that mean? You mean you're like, you know, over the pond? Shit, that's a big one. Cheers. Dude, that was too big. Oh, that was a big one. Oh, God. It was terrible. Almost died. Oh, God, that was a... <laughs> Poured it way too big. That was my bad. I fucked up. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, God. Woo! Anyway, so little Phillips got one eye. His other eye's like sewn shut. And you know what else is cool is his sewing? His uh, stitches are like blue. So it's like, looks pretty cool. Like, uh, he's got these blue stitches across his eyes. He's got this big. But you know what, his head is actually like normal size now. Like, he used to look at him and be like, oh wow, that's an odd shaped head. Cause half his head is bulging out, you know? But he got his eye out and I feel like now his head's like a normal cat sized head. And I like pet petting him too, cause he's, he's got a normal size head. Here he is after his surgery, falling asleep, standing up. He kind of woke up when I took this picture. Um. I'm sitting the bottle down to half? Oh no. Are you kidding? I might die. I could die. Um, by the way, this is a hagfish. It's National Hagfish Day. Among... There's actually important things today, you know, that's like National LGBTQ Awareness Day and like National Medical Assistant Day, you know, and things that are important. But then, you know, it's they can't help themselves but be like, but it's also National uh, uh, Hagfish Day and National Seafood Bisque Day and National Support Your Local Commerce Day. It's so stupid. I don't know why. I don't even know. I don't even remember when I started looking up these national days. Oh, I remember how. I remember why. Because my girlfriend's like, it's National Blah Blah Blah. It's National Me Day, Girlfriend Day, or something. It's National Whatever. Brunettes born in the month of November day and I'm like every day is a national day. She's like no, it's not So I look it up and it's like today's national sea crab meat day And I'm like yeah, every day is a national day and then so I've started doing this and like Every day every Wednesday I always look it up and like okay I'm gonna take my light purple and start basically painting over my black my or sorry my my dark purple Okay um, anyway, so I look it up and it's like, yeah, every day is a national day and it's mostly pointless bullshit. It's mostly what it is. Every once in a while there's like one good thing. There's like one or two good things every day and then it's like a bunch of garbage that someone paid money to get a national day for. It's national uh, pecan cookie day. Like, what? Who gives a fuck about pecan cookies? We need a national day for that? Oh, it's national, it was strawberry cream pie day like two weeks ago or something. What the fuck is that about? Oh, it's national Oreos day. Oh, did Nabisco fucking pay for this, I bet? Oh, did we just, uh, as, a, as a society decided, oh, it's national Oreo day? No, some fucking lobby at, yeah, uh, get started. Yeah, I'm not even gonna get started. I'm not even gonna get started. I'm not, I'm not, not gonna get started. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna not get started, okay? Because it's, I don't even know what I'm talking about. All I know is it makes me mad, okay? That's all I know. That's all I know. I'm just gonna not get started. Okay, so the light purple looks really good on the dark purple, but also could just end the green also. So just spread that out. I am just barely touching my canvas, just dragging this one. Just very monotonous. I'm just gonna keep doing this same thing and build it up with these colors, okay? You know? starting to look real nice though. 
Girlfriend cap. Hey, what does no cap mean? Can someone explain this to a 34 year old? What no cap means? No cap. People say that and I'm like, I'm just gonna move on because I don't even know what that means. It means lie? Another shot for hour mark. You know, you're right. You should probably take a shot for the hour mark. No cap means like no lie? Is that what it means? Or does it mean you're lying? Like if I was like, I have a 12 foot penis and you're like, cap, no cap. It means like you're lying? No, like IR is lie. Oh, no cap means not lying. Like, no lie? Cap means like, thank you, Jake. So yeah, it's like no lie. But you say no cap. What does that even mean? Why, why say cap? Why not just say no lie then? I'm a thousand years old. Cheers. <laughs> uh. Berserker meet Jaked. Jaked meet Berserker. If you haven't already, you probably already have. This crazy bastard. Hey, uh, Jake, today's trivia question is, um, the Dallas Cowboys were not originally Cowboys. Uh, what was their original mascot? Okay, was it the A, the Dallas Indians? Was it B, the Dallas Chili Beans? C, the Dallas Cabana Boys? D, Weed and Boys! E, the Dallas Pickle Tits? F, Dallas Ford G, uh, Dallas Ford F 150s, G, Dallas socket wrenches, or H, none of the above. But, um, pickle tits, and none of the above, and chili beans has been guessed, okay? So don't guess one of those, okay? Okay, promise me you won't guess those, okay? My, so, my Snapchat cameo story was like, Oh, let's make a cameo story. Who do we put in it? I don't. Just put him in it. He's the only other... Oh, you said H. Oh, H has already been guessed, but you know what? I'll allow it. I'll allow it. Wait, Berserker, what did you guess? Did you guess Pickle Tits, or did you guess... Uh... Did you guess I'm a big dumb dumb? I'm a big idiot. Is that what you guessed? Huh? Ooh, Jake's guess Indians. Nice. I've got a good answer for this at the end, so stay tuned, because I've got a good answer for at the end about the Dallas, um, whatever's they are. I don't want to ruin it. Oh, uh, you know, I started watching the Lord of the Rings show. Oh, was anybody watching the Lord of the Rings show? Um, so I started to notice it. I was, has anyone watched it? Okay, I'm, I'm not gonna spoil nothing. I ain't gonna spoil nothing. Uh, I'm only on like episode four anyway, so it's not even like spoil much. But, um, anyway, yeah, it turns out that main character girl, she is, uh, Sauron. Isn't that crazy? No, I'm kidding. I don't know any spoilers. Nothing's really, I mean, basically, the show though is like. It feels like uh, Game of Thrones. Kind of, it feels like they're trying to make a Game of Thrones, kind of thing, right? Like, it is the definitely by far the goriest, most hardcore, you know, Lord of the Rings thing, which is pretty badass. So I've been liking it, but um, yeah, I've actually been pretty into it. It's kind of surprising. It's not as badass and dark as you know Game of Thrones and all that, but it's pretty good. But. Um, you know, it's just all like Arga Borga Therium and said that I thought I saw and Flugadorga Ding was uh, talking to Blackataka Torga for Fork and they said that there's a Musha Hongadon and they call on thee to. Well, it was, uh, it's been fun, but, uh, you know, it gets, it gets a lot with some of the Lord of the Rings stuff. You know, it's like, I don't know, like. Some of those names, it's like you just call someone like George. 
Was George not an option in this in this universe? There's no John, no one. No one came up with the name John. All these names. No one came up with Ben, you know. No crossover there? Or are you purposely trying to not make someone named Ben? Huh? I think it's a conspiracy. I think it's a conspiracy, okay? You know what else? I'm gonna look up. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I'm feeling a little drunk. But you know what? I'm not gonna drive, okay? Or maybe I do drive, you know? And I'll drive home and I'll be like, but here's my plan. I'll drive home and I'll, if I weren't home already, I would drive home and I would, what I would do is I would drive and then I would, there's cops, you know, and I'd jump out of my car and just let the car roll forward, right? And then I would sneak around the outside, you know, of some neighborhood and then uh, around the cops, right? They'd be like, oh, who is this car? And they're like, oh, never mind. There's no one in there. Don't pull it down. This car is driving awful bad, but it's like, oh, there's no one driving it. Never mind. No DUIs for the, for any for us tonight. We can't issue any DUIs out. So then they just, you know, leave it alone. They're like, yeah, whatever. And then I come back later and I'm like, and I jump, I jump back in my car and I drive and I finish it the rest of the way home when I get around the cops. That's why. That's how I uh, can drunk drive home. Okay. Don't try it at home, kids. I gotta go to bed. Take another shot for that. Wait, what do you mean I gotta go to bed? It's 5 10 p.m. Where do you, where are you? For real though, why do you have to go to bed right now? Are you so drunk you have to go to bed? Oh, you're in the UK. So what's it, 9 o'clock? 10 o'clock? Where are you some kind of. <laughs> some kind of. Let's see or something. Just kidding. There's nothing wrong with that. How dare I? Hey, you know what? How dare I? How dare I? How dare I make fun of women? How dare I? Okay, look, I got all the freaking greens and purples in finally. Hey, big berserker, like, we just stay with me for like 30 more minutes like is that that big of a deal for you come on man jeez god i can't believe you sometimes okay let's take one more shot um blow dry quick blow dry i don't even know if i need to blow dry probably don't uh okay let's take shot and let's finish this fucker up okay so yeah, uh, that's how I get home. I drive home, and I know there's cops looking for drunk drivers, and I bail out of the car. And I just let my car careen forward, and then cops are like, oh, that car's driving bad. And they pull up, and they're like, oh, no one's in there. Never mind. They turn the lights off, and they drive off, and then I sneak back up, and I jump back in the car. I was just rolling down the street, and like, ha gotcha, cops. And then I drive home drunk. That's the moral of the story. Just a little, you know, little, you know, Tell me, do you copy? I can make you put your phone down. Boy, that ain't gonna stop me. I can make you put your phone down. It's two now where I'm like, okay, I think they're hitting me. They're hitting me. Uh, you know, once I get to 9 or 10 or 11 or 12, that's when it really is. Okay. Okay. Okay, let's, you know what, guys? Let's, you know what? Let's, you know, let's, you know what? Let's, you know what? I don't know where to put these. Here? I can make you put your phone down. Yeah, I can put your phone down. Okay, let's get a new plate. Let's get our burnt umber. Okay. All right, burnt umber. Let's get some raw sienna as well. Ugh. Ugh. 
Oh, sorry. Sorry, okay? Oh, sorry, okay? All right, let's uh, draw it. Okay, let's blow dry for a quick sec. Wait, wait, wait. Let's do one more thing. All right, take your <clears throat> round brush. Get some of that green paint back on there. Make you lots of water, probably. You're probably gonna need lots of water. I imagine. This paint's probably dried up. Or you just make a new green, obviously. But I'm using my old green, so I'm gonna use lots of water. Make you, I can make you, put your phone down. All right, now let's take the screen now. Now that we got this, let's kind of start dabbing this. Let's just start dabbing this in. Oh yeah, this is what we need to do. I'm not thinking really. I'm just dabbing it in. Okay, I'm not even really looking. Just start dabbing all over your canvas, right? Like, what does it matter? Just start dabbing. It actually probably looks better if you don't think about it. Like, this looks might look crazy to you, but this is probably what you need to do, honestly. Like, just start dancing. Just let it kind of just do whatever it does, you know? But I'm going to start at least start covering up some of these in between some of my perps and my... It's probably okay to have a little bit more like direction and like thought process. But I mean, I want to cover up some of these like rough edges, these purples, and I want to add some of these like rough, you know, just some little splotches. Now, if you remember, I made a bunny rabbit. Here's the bunny rabbit. Here's the ear, face, boink. Yeah, cut that up. Boink, little tail there. I made a bunny rabbit shape there. I honestly just feel like what's gonna happen, huh? Who's gonna who's gonna stop me? What? Is anyone play Overwatch? You want any gamers out there? I'm on Overwatch 2 right now. I have some opinions. really strong purples that look kind of like hills or like there's just a solid solid little bean shape kind of like giving you that kind of thing fuck it up fuck it up with some green okay we don't want it to be too I have no idea, but it would be we don't want it to be too solid in those shadows the shadows are supposed to be kind of behind the highlights okay so don't want to fuck them up a little bit you know just right there fuck it up this, the light colors are in front of the dark color. Okay, I'm gonna make sure it looks that way. Okay, bring some happy little foliage, and if you don't, your trees aren't happy. I swear to God. Okay, there we go. Now I'm liking it. I'm loving it. Ba da 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 da. I'm loving it. Okay? Let's take one more shot and let's blow dry. Uh, so, anyway, um. Oh no. Um. Today's trivia question is How do you burn a. How do you skin a rabbit, you know? There's always more than one way to skin a cat. You ever hear that? There's more than one way to skin a cat. Okay. Skin a cat? Why skin a cat? How many ways are there to skin a cat? Has anyone ever skinned a cat? I would never want to do that. that sounds terrible. I don't know. I've just been, you know, going through it this week. And uh, honestly, I like this painting a lot. I really do like this painting a lot. Um, this middle part, you know, it's just kind of, uh, 
a little tedious. You kind of got to build your way up through it and build your colors up to get through it. But really, minute. Really Really though, it's a nice looking painting. Does anybody still watch like Marvel movies? Are we pretty much done with Marvel movies? Because I feel like I'm done with Marvel movies. Like, who cares at this point, right? Like, you can't top Endgame. Like, it's over. There's no more Captain America. There's no more Iron Man. Thor, I feel like, is pretty much done. Incredible Hulk. It's all like, that was a thing and it's over, right? We have to build this up again. It's like it's a problem with sequels. They're trying to make a sequel to like a 20 year, 15 year of movies. How are they going to do that? They're not. They're not going to. No way to do it. It's not. Can't capture lightning in a bottle twice. Like they got lucky. It was a first. Here's a problem with. Here's a problem with sequels. You've already seen the first one. There's no. That's always the bias with sequels. It's like, oh, it's not as good as the first one. Yeah, it's never going to be as good as the first one because you've already seen the first one. It will never, it will never be better than the first time you saw it, right? But with Marvel stuff, I'm kind of like, is anyone, are we still watching this? Are we done? I'm done. You know what? And I don't care how fucking dumb it is. I'm just going to say it. For the first time forever, I actually want to go see like a DC movie. I want to see Black Adam. It looked cool. Let's we'll see. It. I heard they went more hardcore in that movie. It looks badass. I'm kind of liking the look of it. I'm liking the style they're going with. And you know what? I want to see it. Okay. I'm gonna go see it. I feel like. It. Okay, I'm mixing my dark chocolate with my milk. My I'm mixing my milk chocolate with my caramel. I want to see what color this gives us, huh? Let's try it. Let's just try this. Oh, yep, that's the right color. Okay. Hey, let's go ahead and make some trees here, okay? Happy little trees, okay? You better not make unhappy trees. I swear to God. The ghost of Bob Ross is going to come back. Fuck you in the ass if you do. Little known fact, Bob Ross was a egomaniac. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, everybody hear that, uh, anyone ever hear that, um, uh, I used to always, when I worked at Pain the Twist, I remember I would do trivia questions, and, you know, Mr. Rogers was one, because he was kind of in that realm with Mr. Bob Ross, and reading Rainbow Guy. All those guys are like the PBS heroes, right? It's like a Heroes of PBS kind of thing. Sometime. Well, anyway, there was this thing, and I, I did trivia about, um, you know, Mr. Rogers. And there's all these myths about Mr. Rogers that aren't true, actually, I found out. So I did trivia, and I thought it was like, it was like, uh, you know, Mr. Rogers was in the military. He was a Marine or something. He was a sniper. He killed all these people. And he did his show to get away from all the violence. I thought that was true. I read that on like Wikipedia. I thought it was true. And you come to find out it's not true at all. Pretty uh, crazy. Kind of sad. Um, Mr. Bob Ross, though, I will say, pretty good guy. He seems like an affable fellow. And, uh, you know, I watched that documentary on There's a couple things that were like, a little tarnished his reputation for sure. 
not gonna act like, uh, you know, cheating on his wife wasn't a thing, because that's pretty terrible to me. But, you know, all in all, not much other blemishes, and but I can't talk too much shit on him, but, you know, he's a dirty, dirty cheater. Dirty cheat, bitch. But other than that, I wouldn't say anything negative about him. But no, Bob Ross is my hero, and um, I think he's amazeballs. And if I say someone's amazeballs, that means I really, really like them. I don't just throw the term amazeballs around for nobody. You know what? You know what else is crazy? Pete Davidson's not on SNL anymore. Neither's A.D. Bryant. Neither's Kate McKinnon. Neither's Kyle Mooney. Neither. Everyone's gone. It's all different. And I love SNL. I really do. I really like SNL. I really feel like that's been funny too the last however many years. Good skits. Skit. Skats. Scots. Good Scots. Skit. Skits. Sketches. And um. New batch of people that are pretty funny too, though. So, but uh, what's going on, with Pete Davidson? Like, is he just just a dude? I guess that we just have to all embrace now, because he got into show business, I guess, and now it's on everyone on earth to have to fucking look at him and deal with him. In the Taco Bell commercial, I'm just like, I don't give a shit. I don't give a fuck what you endorse. Why do I give two shits? I'm kind of looking at it like, wait, you're a Taco Bell guy now? What the fuck are you doing? Look, I get it. You gotta make your money. And if I was in that business, I'd do something. But it's just like, it's more just like, okay, I'm still undecided on you. Like, you still, I guess you're just someone I have to see now in the public. I'm not totally thrilled about it. Guess this is our life. This is my life. This is my nightmare. Like, uh, you know, is is what's his name? Philip Rivers, Pete Davidson. Philip Rivers and Pete Davidson should have a talk. They should just hang out. It'd be fun. It's too random not to. What if Philip Rivers, uh, you know? did anything ever with his life like uh just like besides football I was like hey let's what if he was just hung out and like went on SNL or something that'd be cool dude Philip Rivers is funny I don't give a fuck I don't give a shit who I offend with Philip Rivers is funny as hell he's a funny ass dude he's a goober effing goober Am I right? Say what? I think I'm gonna take a shot here in a minute. This painting's taking way longer than I thought it would. I thought they would be done with this painting so long ago. You know, you can kind of see a rabbit though, see? So I got the back, two ears, face, boink. A little bushy tail there. A rabbit! I'm sorry, I'm so hammered, guys. I'm so hammered. I'm just so hammered right now, okay? This one looks good. Oh, oh, my shoulder's covering it. This one looks good. (gasps) 
Just have to yell out your um, scream out your um, drunkness. I will say this: I scream out like whenever I have like have bad memories of things, and I think like, Ugh, why'd I do that? And I've said stupid things that in the moment I'm just an idiot. I'm just I'm just so self. I'm not a really a person. I'm like. So detached from like the human experience, and like, just feel detached from humanity a lot. Just don't feel like I think the way everybody does sometimes. I had these moments where I've done things, and I'm like, I look back and I'm like, ah, obviously that was a stupid thing to say, right? It's so embarrassing, right? And you ever look back and you're just like, nah, like. There's like two or three thoughts that I have in my brain that if I think about them, I can't not have like a physical reaction. Just thinking. Fucking Sayad. Okay, here we are. Okay, so we did all the bullshit, right? Now's the finally, we're finally the part that actually matters, right? Um, okay. Let's go ahead and do this. Look. Here it is. Let's find the center of this. Boink. Boink. There's the center. Let's go ahead and just drag this. Boom. We got that line. Now. Let's do this. Let's start slowly. Making this big. Now. By the time we get here, it's going to be definitely full brush, wide side. It's going to get very big, very fast. Like my wedding night. I'm not married. This is gonna take a big fat old chunk. I mean a big old fat chunk. of water and I feel sedges nice and solid. Don't take no shit from your brush either. Let's get dried out, wash it out. And, um, okay, we're almost done. All we gotta do is add some, you know, a little bit more. We're gonna jazz up our trees a little bit. Um, which just means taking some brown, a little bit of some of this color we've got, and add a little bit of purple to it. And, um, you know, 
Oodle lolly, oodle lolly, golly, what a day. And, um, you know, um, keep on, keep trucking. That's what I, that's what I always say. So cheers, everybody, and uh, cheers to you. Oh, this painting taking so much longer than I thought it would. All right, let's fix it up. Let's finish it up. All right, here we go. Here's our plate, right? All right, let's take this flat brush here. You know, it would probably be good for it is let's take it. This has so many colors in it. Let's start right here at the base. Base, let's just, let's just take this paper towel and drag it up. Base to tip, okay? Yeah, here's the thing about your brushes. They need love, just like you and me. Base to tip, okay? Let's mix up our brownies here. And you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna add some purple. Okay, we've got some purple here. Let's add that in. Okay, now I got my purpose. Let's take some more purpose. Add as much as you need. Gonna give you a good little amount of that shadowy, purpley color here. What you wanna do here is you wanna start by. I'm gonna go ahead and add in, you know, just drawing in, maybe painting in all of that purpley, shadowy color, you know? If your paint's still just perfectly wet, you can just take purple straight, straight up. Straight up, dog. And just add purple. I'm gonna add purple on this whole right side. Now, from here, what I like to do is just start really defining these and then once I get up I can kind of make them a little more simplified drop this up so I can get right to the bottom alright let's get it all wide out again let's take it and squeeze it out it down, get the tip nice and fresh. There we go. What happens is as you drag, you pick up all this dry paint off the canvas. Now, as I get up here, try to like make smaller, smaller marks. Here's the top. Just gotta warm that up there. Here, very small, light marks. Here, a little bit longer, a little more spread out, a little bigger. Okay, let's move on. Before we overdo it, main thing is I want to stop, not overdo it. That looks nice. I don't want to fuck it up. Maybe right there I'll end that up, but I mean, other than that, I'm going to overdo it. Pretty big drip. Hi, ho! Right, so let's go through each one of these just now. So that's the main one. Once we get past this main one, let's see how this purpley brown. What do you think? Well, it's not the music called Shakespeare. Shakespeare here used to write. I know all the musicians that I listen to have on this except for Pogo. But Pogo, I just love him too much. I love his music too much. But I also, this is a little secret. Don't tell anybody. Don't tell anybody. But I feel like because his music's made up of a bunch of copyrighted music, they don't really own the rights to it. So I can play it and not be persecuted by, um, you know. Persecuting people, you know, because it's like, oh yeah, <laughs> Disney. But it's like then you find out they're the most vicious, ruthless people ever. And all you see all day long is how they just 
annihilate people who just love what they do and super as royal dwarves are gonna die. I just really feel like they're ruining Like who's who's hurting what? I'm not who's making no one's making any money here. We're just we, we just like what you do. Like it's not like you're ruining someone at a point point where it's like the reason why everyone hates Disney because you know the monsters the people who are just doing just not do it people are just like honestly trying to like like what you do and like support you like the art that you made it means something but you didn't pay us you will burn in hell that's how I feel about I feel like they want you to do this. But you know, um, that's not a very thought out argument. Damn waste. It's always my cop out, right? It's my, it's my dumb cop out. What am I doing here? I don't even know. I don't even know. I'm just saying stupid stuff under the guise of being hopped up on alcohols. You know? Loosey goosey alcohols. Okay, let's do the last part here, okay? There's two last parts, basically. Let's take some black paint. Black paint. And let's add some blacks in our dark darks here. Hey, uh, anybody watching wants to win a free thing? Today's trivia question is... The Dallas Cowboys weren't originally the Cowboys. What was their original mascot? Was it A, the Dallas Indians? B, the Dallas Chili Beans? C, the Dallas Cabana Boys? D, the Weed Up Boys? E, the Dallas Pickle Tits? Uh, F, Dallas F-150s? G, Dallas Socket Wrenches? Or H, none of the above, okay? You wanna win a free painting? Yes. Okay, I'm gonna continue with my small flat brush here. Just me and my small flat brush, just <gasps> do it the best we can. It's just me and him getting through this life, you know, just me and my flat small flat brush. We really got each other's back though, you know. Let's take this and put it in the darkest of places here. Let's put it in some of the shadows. You know, me and my small flat brush, we've been through a lot together, you know, and neither one of us takes it for granted, you know. We give each other the benefit of the doubt, you know. We don't pick each other apart, okay? We don't. We we could. You know, sometimes when we're agitated, we, we may. But, like, we both know that ultimately... We appreciate each other so much, you know, me and my flat brush, really, like, we get each other. We're, like, on each other's team. We're a teammate, you know? My small flat brush is my teammate, you know? And honestly, he's a good teammate, you know? And, and honestly, even if he's not the best teammate, it works because we work, you know? And why me and my flat brush get along so well. Let's pick a nice strong azure for black paint, right? There's another one. Let's go. Let's go right in here. Ooh. Let's pick the right size of these purples. Let's outline the right side of these purples. Boom. God, look at that effing tree. It looks so much better right IRL than it does on the camera. You're gonna trust me on this one. God damn that one's good. Basically, god damn that one's good. Okay, so there's a tree. Let's do one here. So wow wow wow. Okay, okay, okay. What what are you gonna say, huh? Oh, oh. Well you wanna talk some more tree? Huh? Oh, you wanna look worse tree? Too bad. I got small flat brush. She's on my side. And you know what else? No one can stop me in small flat brush. Okay, oh shit, that's... Okay. 
Okay, you know what? Actually, you know they could have fixed it. Okay. Cool. Maybe just a little bit in these. Just in the littlest. Most. It's good to like actually try. Not hard. I'm not trying hard. I mean, I am. But come on. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah. God, I forgot how good I am at this, God. I'm just a natural, I've done this so many, it seems a natural, you know? It's like, oh my God, I can just like, do this drunk, I'm so good at it. hard is okay um you know let's put some green in there and then we'll be about done we're so close oh uh, so close let's take our round brush one more time get this green paint let's get this fucking over with jesus christ can we been painting this for so long it's an hour 45 christ all i want to do is i want to fuck up these tree limbs like that right Let's take this, really cover up the ends for sure. Zoom, zoom. Let's take this, cover up the ends of the trees. Zoom, zoom. I want to fuck up my little, you know, rabbit that I made. Zoom, zoom. Hey, uh, look at us. We did a painting. Look at that. Wow. What a day. Okay. So, uh, what was the trivia question? Today's trivia question was, what was the Dallas Cowboys na uh, original mascot? Okay. Thanks, Teeksop. Um, correct answer was... Wait, hold on. I had an idea for this and I forgot it. Let's paint our bottom edge and sign our names. Now let's get some blue and some white for that bottom head. Just a little. Just a little. Hey, thanks, TCBY. Hey, you know what, TCBY? Okay, I'm going to tell you the answer to this trivia question here in just a sec. All right, more more white paint. What? Are you Icelandic? <laughs> okay, let's paint the bottom. Um, so what did we learn today? How to drive drunk. Um, we also learned um that the new game, uh, the new Lord of the Rings shows, kind of like Game of Thrones, is pretty badass. 
Um, we also learned that, um, you know, Bob Ross only wanted happy trees. What about the unhappy trees, huh? You need a voice, too. Okay, we also learned, um, how to make a painting. How to make a little painting there. We also learned that the truth of the matter is sign your pain. That's important. Okay. So the trivia, the answer to did it to today's trivia question is the original name of the Dallas Cowboys. Okay, was actually the Dallas. The actual original name of the Dallas Cowboys was the Dallas Cabana Boys, actually. No one guessed it, but you know what? The Dallas Cabana Boys was the actually the original name of the Dallas Cowboys. And back in the day when they were first found in like 1910 or something, you know, they were just, Dallas was full of just Cabana Boys. They wanted to be that lady with the fruit on her head and dance around and do her salsa. But that's what all the boys wanted to do, okay? And that was the really the mantra of Texas. You know, back in the day, they were the most, you know, expressive dancing people was Texas. So the correct answer is actually see the um, Dallas Cabana Boys. That's what they were almost. Cowboys, Cabana Boys, very close. But the correct answer is actually Dallas Cabana Boys. Um, they wanted to be... They wanted, like, basically most men in the state of Texas in the early 1900s were cabana boys. They wanted to dance and shake their little rumps, you know, and twerk on stage like all the ladies did. They just yearned for it so bad. And Texas wanted to support it. But, uh, you know, what was his name? Eisenhower? I think he came and stepped in and was like, no, we're doing... Uh, man's football we're not cabana boys and texas made a split right there they could have almost been the most liberal party tutti fruity state in the country but old eisenhower said no so we got the cowboys instead of the cabana boys so that's the correct answer however everyone that guessed it wins so texas berserker jake my own mother, you all win a free painting. Alright, I think this has gone on long enough. Thank you everybody for watching and I appreciate you all and I hope you have a good Wednesday and um, I really sincerely um, appreciate you all. It made me feel really better on a Wednesday and I, I, I do this because I like to but I also like to talk to people so I appreciate you all a lot. So, thank you all. Goodbye, I love you. I'm going to text you all and you all get a free painting. Goodbye, I love you.